Hey everyone, Shen Virtuality here, and welcome back to The Room 3. Well, in the last episode, we had sort of completed the lighthouse scenario, so let's jump right back in and see what other mysteries um, await us in The Room. Three. So, like I said, there's the lighthouse. It's all lit up and ready to have people, uh, I don't know, find it, I guess. Um, but like I said, we can sort of wander back out to this main area because we now have this, this next piece of the puzzle. And much like the first one, I have a feeling I know where this goes. I want to dance too! I want to dance too! Wah, 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 wah. Give you this. Uh, okay. What are you giving me here? Whoa! Oh, I see. You want us to complete this door frame, I bet. So there's those pieces. And those pieces. And now I just have to line up. Ah. Hey. What a cool way to make a door. I guess I'll just go in. I'm sure nothing will be amiss here. Another room, another door, another room. Ah, well, let's uh, let's investigate, shall we? Ah, it's one of those power machines. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to sort of give it power here somewhere. So, uh, but you know what? <laughs> We know what's up. There's another letter from our good friend, the Craftsman. Interesting. Here you stand, all corporeal and breathing and the rest. Existing is something you appear to have a tremendous knack for. Let's fix that. A useful trait, and one that has been distressingly lacking in my previous apprentices. <laughs> so you're saying they're dead, right? They're all dead? Perhaps my search really is at an end. This library is unique in all the world. Though I would conceal against indulging your curiosity, as is common at Greyholm, there are things here that are not yet sympathetic towards inquisitive heads. Do not idle here. I repeat, idling is not meant for this place that you are currently occupying. Do I make myself... Abundantly clear. I certainly hope so. Yours truly, the Craftsman. Uh, all right, well, I guess we won't idle here. Sheesh. Uh, okay, so we have this other door, and I know that it sort of goes up to this other spot, which I'm going to right away because it almost seems that the power cables that I need to sort of start going at the other place 
all leading to here. So uh, let's start with uh, let's start with I guess we're not starting here because this thing is locked and we can't do it. Oh, fine. For someone who doesn't want us to idle here, we're definitely idling here. Uh, all right, let's. <laughs> the great. <gasps> A metal object. Okay. And, oh, just the one. Fair enough. So, it's the sign of the null. Yep, it's the sign of the null. Okay. Uh, so, it can't, no, this looks spherical, so we need something spherical to go in there. Can't look at the pictures, can I? Nope. All right. Well, we have ourselves a little cube. Whatever shall we do with it? Uh, all right, let's go over here. Mystical Maggie, your fate awaits. From the great God! Uh, all right, well, we don't have a token. We have a small mechanism. It's like a token, but apparently it doesn't work for you, Miss Maggie. She seems familiar somehow. I can't imagine why the only individual that we have seen up until this point in all the previous room games was the person at the beginning of this particular one. Okay, here's our... Funny how I didn't see this coming in, but whatever. All right. Uh, okay, so we know the drill from the last one, maybe. Uh, maybe that needs to go there. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. There we go. And, okay, plus the minus and, there we go. We have power. We are playing with power. Okay, now we can go upstairs. Right, right. So all we're doing up here is flipping this. Oh my goodness, street lights and a clock. And it goes down there. And yes, we've seen this before. Uh, do, do, do. No, I think it was this first. Yep. So. <gasps> Give it all she's got. All right. And then that sort of goes over here. Yes, we get it. We are looking at you now. Charge the proton pack. Well, I guess we're going through there. Yep, certainly no idling for us. Now we get to waste time in another part of this tower. Oh, we're at the we're at the clock tower now. Uh, oh, I guess we have to read this note. I guess we have to read this note. Uh, 
Thank you. What do you know of time? This tower was added by my great grandfather, though his time ran out earlier than expected. Do you get it? Because it's a clock. I'm so witty. <clears throat> Your path will appear when the last bell tolls. Midnight. A trifle dramatic, I know. But our ancestors understood more than they realized. There truly are moments when the cycle of our world brings it closer to its neighbors. It is a marvel to behold. Let me tell you the stories I can recall. However, that will be for another time. The Craftsman. Okay. Uh, okay, and <laughs> I guess it didn't matter what uh, what I had picked up from before because now they're gone from my inventory. So yeah, we'll just uh, do. We have to do this two-handed style. We do. So open that up. We'll get this chest. No, oh, a small metal pil pillar. I thought it was a chest piece, but you know what? Small pillar, sure. Why not? Uh, is there anything to behold on this small but metal pillar? It is very small and metal-like. Perfect. Uh, okay. Can I... Oh, I can. Oh, I see. That's our next objective, I bet. Getting that little triangle piece from out of there. Nope, nothing worthy as far as the lens can see. Oh, I see. Because there are little pegs around the corners here. Except for this one that goes there and slides over. <gasps> hmm. Uh, okay, well... We have, uh, we have to do something here, I bet. But it is not giving us, it's not giving us any indication that we need to start whatever that process is yet. So let's go over to this other side. All right. And that's going to be a big note for all of this. Okay. So we must probably need to go somewhere else in this particular room. Diagrams of clocks. There's something on this door here. But we cannot manipulate this without whatever handle is supposed to be going on there. So that will just be futile for the moment. Uh, all right. Over here, again, something is locking this in place, so therefore I cannot do whatever it needs to do. And nothing as far as the lens can see. You! Can I do anything here? Uh, I can get this wheel with a handle, apparently. Never more! Never more! I hear ya, I hear ya. Uh, can I not just Ant-Man my way back into this lock and unlock it from the inside? No, because that would be too easy. Uh, all right, let's see. This handle does not go on the door that I initially had suspected. So I guess it will go on to whatever these pegs go on to, which is probably over here. Maybe? No.
Nope. Nope. And nope. Uh, I don't think there would be any reason for it to go on here. I said it's probably not going to go on here, but I just wanted to make sure that was the fact, and it is. And you know, I'll give a decent scan around just in case I'm sort of missing anything obvious, which I am not. Uh, okay, so some kind of cage. I can't reach it. It's too high. Can't open these bars. It's too hard. Oh, I'm just an idiot. Okay, fair enough. Didn't see the obvious answer in front of me. That was fairly obvious. Can't move this. Oh, I see. Do I do I open this? I do a crank handle. It's the tool of Raccoon City. I can do something here. Okay. Uh, yeah, that works. All right, I got myself a metal ring. Hooray. Uh, and... Nope. Uh, does it go down here? Nope. Can I even go down there? I'm trying to put a square peg into a round hole, apparently. And nothing doing. So, my guess is that neither of these parts are for up here, perhaps? Uh, well, let's try with... Yeah, you need to go there. So, can I move you? Yeah, there we go. I was incorrect. They both need to go here. The handle came out of its socket. I will probably need to use it again. Uh, okay, so... We need to... Oh. oh, I see. Okay, so... That's it. Bing! Things are moving! Do you want to play a game? Okay, so now I think we have to balance this, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's go... Okay, now it's one of these puzzles. I get it. 
So I need to get these into all four corners. Uh oh. <laughs> Are you sure you really want to do this? There's no turning back now. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, do. let's go back out the same way. Uh, we're gonna go up instead. Uh, we're gonna go this way. That way. And they should take it all the way down. And it do. Tick. Talk. Ready for the next piece. All right, now we're going to go exactly like we had done before, except this way. Go up and across here. go for this one this will go now that that's covered I can go down here and up and that's the final slot and into this little crevice we go uh, okay so we got some gears there I'm gonna do what I can do in order to not screw up. And I don't think there's anything for me to do here, there yet. Uh, okay, so... Oh, I see. Okay. So... Oh, are you going here? You are. We need to bring you Okay, so you're there We're gonna go up I guess I didn't need to do that entirely. Oh, but there's something I need. Oh, never mind. It's where it needs to be. There we go. Press that. Open that. Uh, and now we know what we need to do here. So we need that and then this middle piece that looks right and this needs to go uh yep i believe I believe i'm correct i found a gear metal gear no a gear And we are thrust out of there. Okay, what's next? Uh, well, that pendulum is still swinging, so we'll leave it be. Uh, does this... Okay, this goes somewhere. I am sure of it. I'm sure that this gear will need to go somewhere. Uh, let's try over here. Aha. Oh, is it another elevator? Yeah, let's go up the stairs. Ow. Bang my head. And now we are up here. Uh, well, let's check this out. Well, this looks familiar, so... 
that's where that goes. Uh, can I manipulate it yet? Yes, I can. Do I just, yeah, I just turn it. That's what I thought. If if nothing seems obvious, use the lens. Uh, nope, not quite. That's definitely not right. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is one of those puzzles where you have to sort of... Let's bring you along. Because at some point you're going to want to... Yep, there we go. Okay, so you go there. You just rotate it along until its path is complete. We have ourselves a clock face now. Perfect. Okay. And is that all we need from up here? Those are just bells. I'm going to say yes, maybe. Quick, get downstairs. This place is scaring us. Uh, okay, so that's working. Uh, where's... Okay, so we have this clock face with these sort of indentations. Uh, does it need to go? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It goes there. Oh, goodness, chess. Okay, so I have to get all the pieces then. Uh, there and then there, which is fine. Uh, there. Yep, get you. And... There we go. Okay, and done. As long as you know how knights work in chess. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do we have here? Nothing as far as the lens can see, and I didn't think there would be. Uh, okay, so... Okay, so maybe I have to hold this and lock it in place. There we go. Get there eventually, people. My brain is hurting. Uh, something like that. Something like that. And something like th that, maybe. I don't know. No, it's supposed to be this. Okay.
These uh, these circular pieces are bigger than I first imagined. There we go. Okay, now you'll go. Click, click, click. Let's get our wrench in there. Look, it's another one of these puzzles. Uh, okay, uh, except now you got rotating pieces. So rules are same as before. Yep, that will work. Uh, not quite. Yeah, that looks right. And that looks right. So, bing. Handle with the socket. And that looks like it will go onto our door piece. Oh. You're not getting away from me, ballerina statuette. Yeah. Now you've completed this side of the box. Congratulations. Uh, okay. So. All right, so now that we have this, we can probably get into the door. We can get into the door. Ooh. Ooh. Enter. Gee, this area certainly goes on and on and on. This looks like it needs to be investigated. Oh, well, I'm guessing that's where the ballerina comes in play. A winding key. Which, does it go here? Aha. Uh, so let's that goes down first. There, okay. Yep. Just needed to make sure it was in the right spot. Okay, so that sort of manipulates. You need to go that way. Yeah, I get it. I get it now. And you'll hit the center. Bling. Too soon on that. You need to go out of your circle. And you gotta come all the way around. Past that, but not past that. Okay. And there. You'll go all the way around. Actually, we're okay to do that because you we want you in this circle. 
And then we need you to pass that, but not this. And now you can dance together. I am so helpful. A gem. And that's all you're going to give me. Okay. Do we have to wind you up again? Okay, well, why do we still have the winding key? No. It's not allowing us to go there, so I guess we use it for something else. All right, fair enough. Uh, we got another crystal to break here. And since we're so good at breaking stuff... Alright, so I'm guessing it's telling us what patterns it needs to make. Aha! Uh, so we need an arrow pointing up. Uh, and we have this. Uh, excuse me? All right, what's this then? Oh yeah, it is a shape manipulation. We just need to know what we're making here. Oh, okay. I think I, you need to go. Almost seems like that that leg is not quite correct. Uh, so maybe it has to point the other way. Click. Uh, I probably have to get the other one to go. Okay, and that's just three lines sort of forward. So, oh, oh, like up to down. In between the bars of red. <laughs> uh, well, did I get it? Because it almost looks right to me. Uh, the only thing I can think of... Nope. Not that piece. There we go. It's a crow! A key with a bird emblem. Okay. So I fulfilled that. What be next? Oh. I think I would still have to do something in order to get that to open. But what exactly? Oh, well, you know what? The uh, key gave me the clue I needed. So let's hurry back upstairs. Come on, 
Open up, open up, open up, open up. I'm opening. There. Uh, okay, so which is the important part here? Uh, anything in the cage? It seems not. So does that mean the bird went up here? Because that's where we saw it fly. Oh, hi. What is it, fella? Oh, you make the bell go. Okay, and it almost seems like we're almost out of here so i know this episode will probably drag on a little bit longer than i want to but we seemingly so close here so let's head back down here and towards here and we know the gist again so we just need to get things started There we go. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's taking a traveling around. There we go. Maybe we get there eventually. Hands of a clock. There we go. So, let's get back up top side. And I'm guessing that this is where this goes yet again. Let's make it midnight. And that's when the party starts, isn't it? Ooh, the bell is chiming. Come on, break, break. Oh, we're having flashbacks. Erg, 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 erg. Chapter complete. Impressive. You have bested the ruthless mechanisms of the clock tower with humanity intact really because uh <laughs> if all those bills ringing in my head is anything to to indicate here intactness is not uh, one of them the tolling bells mark progress and your lack of hearing but not without hardship Ah, okay. Like I said, <laughs> this one ran a little long, but it 
it did seem like we were able to sort of complete a chapter in one episode here. So we'll uh, take a pause for the cause and we'll come back in the next action-packed, puzzling <laughs> adventure of The Room 3. Uh, so if you are enjoying this episode and playthrough of The Room 3, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more The Room 3 mobile gaming goodness. This has been Trend Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.